Finally about to check into the room. This has just been a crazy long day and like I just got here. I am in room 1004. to ceiling windows are my weakness absolute weakness so spacious ah, I got the one with the window I am favored I am favored I am favored thank you Jesus no but seriously come on Ugh. God is good even with that view we ain't mad. We ain't mad. The desert's cool. I mean, it's definitely not Toronto, and that's what matters. Just all around gorgeous. Okay, not what I thought it would do. <laughs> okay, there's no light. Maybe there is, but I'm not doing it right. Anyway, um... Got the safe. I wonder if. Okay, there's no robe. We shall ask for a robe. Ah! The floor to ceiling windows are just doing it for me. This has just made the whole journey worth it. Completely, 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 completely worth it. Hey guys, welcome to day two of Dubai. I um, have a strap still in my mouth. I kind of have a bit of a situation going on. My voice is kind of, it feels like it's, it feels like that had, do you hear that? I feel like I have the potential to lose my voice, but whatever happens, happens. Honestly, like with the travel day that I've had, God can throw any challenge at me right now and I wouldn't even I wouldn't even front. Every challenge that presented itself along my journey, God just had somebody play he placed somebody there that would just make the like the problem go away or that would just make that person have the authority to make it easier on me. And let me explain that real quick. In Toronto, when I was checking in, my bags were like significantly overweight. So like I had already mentally accepted that I might need to buy an additional suitcase in order to like evenly distribute the weight across both checked bags or just pay for overweight baggage. The guy was trying to work with me. He was, you know, helping me like rearrange things from one bag to the next to reduce the weight and it wasn't working out. And honestly, he was just like, don't worry about it. Enjoy your flight, enjoy the trip. It's not gonna be an issue checked my bags in over like when i tell you overweight like my my one bag the max was meant to be 23 kg it was it was 30 kilograms and he was like don't worry about it my carry-on is meant to be 7 kg it was 10 kg after the transfers he said don't worry about it and that was just the first instance of problem solving that he helped me with now as i'm walking to my gate i come across the lounge and in my head, I have a credit card that allegedly gives me access to lounges across multiple airports, Pearson being one of them. So I walk in pretty confident that, you know, I'm going to get lounge access. And the guy at reception basically tells me that, like, oh, no, you know, it doesn't work that way. Like, the bank is meant to send you a card that allows you access into the lounge. He was super nice, super friendly. And we just got to talking and he was like, you know what? just go in. I was able to get food. I didn't pay for anything. The food was actually pretty good as well. And it worked out because the food on the plane was not even that great. So at least I had some kind of sustenance beforehand. You know, I got some drinks. I got to use a pretty clean bathroom. Like it was just, 
not a coincidence in my opinion. And then when I land in Dubai, so just for context, I had a drone in my carry-on. I borrowed a drone from my friend. And when I get there, like after immigration, they scan your bags, right? And he basically was like, oh, you have a drone? They're not allowed in the UAE. I was like, oh, like I didn't know that. Like nobody told me, like I should have probably researched it. And then he was like, oh, we're gonna have to seize it at customs until you go to your next destination. I was kind of like, nervous because it's not my drone first of all dubai is pretty safe yes but i just hadn't anticipated right anyway he he brings me to this next customs office and you know they're like checking me in and like taking down my information in order for me to be able to pick it up when i leave dubai and she was like looking through my flight details for my next destination and she was like oh um i see here that your next flight is out of terminal two and because we're currently in terminal three there's gonna have to be a transport like fee to bring the drone from terminal three to terminal two so you can pick it up and i'm like transport fee like it's already one thing that you're seizing it but now you want to charge me to just bring it from one terminal to the next like can i not just pick it up myself on the way she's like no it doesn't work that way like there was no negotiation and she was like it's the equivalent of 60 canadian dollars just to transfer it that's not something that i had anticipated paying for like it was unaccounted for so obviously i was just kind of frustrated she was like anyway there's no way around like no way around it and you have to pay in cash in local currency and in my head i was planning on like changing money outside of the airport because the rates are so inflated and she's like you can't use your card like, it was just very it was all very annoying she's like anyway I'm finishing up the report you have to go pay at this next office so at this point i'm just like okay like i don't have any other option this is what i need to do right so long story short go to the next office they finalize everything and then they're like okay like you're good to go and i'm like okay where do i pay and then she was like oh no payment don't worry about the payment enjoy your trip hmm we're th we're three for three now okay <laughs> i see you finally to just you know wrap this all up i get to the hotel in my reservation when i booked it online they ask you what time you land to get the room ready for you i had put in that i'm landing at 11 and i'll be at the hotel by like 12 30. so when i come to the hotel now i'm thinking okay it's been a long like journey already like i'm tired i'm sweaty i'm, I'm not frustrated anymore but I was just tired and I wanted to be settled. Come in and they're like, oh, sorry, ma'am, we're fully booked right now. You can't, you can't check in. You have to come back after three. So now I'm kind of like, I have two hours now to kill. <sighs> Again, just not something that I had accounted for. Like I was just a little bit all over the place. Anyway, I was like, okay, I go out. My phone ends up dying. I don't have access to GPS. I'm in a part of Dubai that I'm unfamiliar with. And you know, I was doing the most, I was running around like a headless chicken, just trying to like find somewhere to charge my phone, you know, find just a lot was going on. Anyway, I finally come back to the hotel after four, like at 4.30, I go to check in now. And then I'm just like, by the way, can you just let me know what room I booked? And she was like, yeah, so you booked the, suit, the standard superior room, but I see that there's a note here saying that you've been upgraded to the premium something something room. And I was just like, oh. Huh. She's like, yeah, we're sorry for the delay. That is not a coincidence. Those are, I don't even have the words. In my humble opinion, the Lord was just orchestrating in the background. He was working on the back end. He already had it sorted. He already placed these people at the right time, at the right place that were going to come in and just wow me. That, that is my little short testimony for y'all. That's how my yesterday went. We are here, it is a new day. I'm blessed, I'm favored. But yeah, anyway, that's just a little recap of what happened. Today, I'm actually working today and I'm working tomorrow as well. So a vacation officially starts on Thursday, but I am going to probably just do some errands today. Um, probably hang by the pool. Um, and yeah, we'll kind of just see where the day takes us. But.
Hi Cassandra, welcome to Skydive Dubai Gyrocopter section. How are you? Good? Okay. Uh, are you excited? Very excited. You must be excited because you are flying with me. Yeah, uh, my name is Frank. I will fly with you. I will show you Dubai from the sky. Okay, let's go. Get Welcome back to the ground. How you feel? You like it? Thank you very much for flying with me. Thank you. Have a nice day in Dubai. Honestly, I loved it. 
Then I'm gonna do that. I guess so. Look at that. This is even focused. Yeah, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Are you crazy? Oh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Back with this. Mm. I want to see your Insta now. I saw the vlog that you did. <laughs> it's giving cheesy, salty, moist. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> much um if we go down that way we're going towards the solar panels so he said head back over this way and hopefully we can find some water okay one more try so cassie where are we Desert fossil dunes for those that cannot hear her because I can't hear her right now either. <laughs> uh, no, maybe we do it on the way back. We can eat on our long sand. Hey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> unable to find our way to the salt lakes we were driving down this very long road and i thought oh when i saw water so we stopped and we thought we may as well have a look it might need some editing behind it who knows but this is what we've got ignore the rubbish people are inconsiderate i was gonna swear but i won't be doing that on your floor you're welcome Same four bottles. <laughs> okay, big one, this size. Let me see this one. This one? No, 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 the other one. This size. This for this one, how much? 40. 40? Yeah. And 120? Yeah. Ashraf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh my goodness. That's funny. You don't eat any perfume, any but, but now I just promise, and I don't break promises. <laughs> yeah, forgive the problem. Forgive, but not for using for you. Really? For any gift? <laughs> gift, 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 gift. Happy. I don't, I don't want to give you these gifts. I like the smell. <laughs> Promotion. Come yeah, here, come here, come here. It's very good, very good. You <laughs> long time here, you no thinking? I was, I was about to come back and say, can I have one more 100 dirham? I was gonna go get one more, like six more for 100. I shouldn't do that, no? Okay. You gift any people you forgive. You, you now smile good. Long time and this is changing five, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So. <laughs> this is uh oh <laughs> um what are, i don't even know what day this is day five final day whatever the voice is coming back Woo! this is a win but <laughs> also unfortunate because i haven't been able to talk to her which is a bit weird because that's the reason i came here to talk to my friend but um you've been a you've been a decent translator louisa carried the team but um what is this hmm. anyway i'm gonna miss you so much oh my god sorry this is ruining the moment how can you have that on as i'm saying goodbye to you it's so cute she looks so good Anyway, um, I'm just, sorry, I'm sitting on the remote. <laughs> I'm just trying to pack up real quick so I can skedaddle. I will see you guys at the airport for my next flight. Do you want to say bye to the vloggy? Bye to the vloggy. Just like that, yeah. Just like that, just like that.